Hey, what's up guys? Second Crib Review here back again with another Modern Minecraft tutorial. Oh yeah, so today's topic, the Ender I.O. block from, well, Ender I.O. So this is like a sort of a magical block instead of like a technical block, though it does require tech in order to get it. So the way it works, the, uh, the Ender I.O. can allow you to interface with anything nearby. So for example, I mean, I put my Ender I.O. near this smeltery and... Uh, near this uh near the aerial interface here and the uh, igneous extruder button lever you know so uh, so the ender io can interface with all of these uh, using a staff of traveling or a travel anchor so let's test it staff of traveling see the ender io pops up see if i go over here now i can uh, now i can see everything in that area see i can trigger buttons flip levers open inventories Perfect. Eh, I re I like this thing. It's one of, uh, it's one of the coolest things ever, in my opinion. Okay, so it looks like it looks like it has a limited range. It looks like I can't interact with this. Oh, it looks like I can interact with the smelter controller if I'm aimed at it just right. So if you right click the Ender I/O, you can give it a name and an item to indicate. So for example, um, the test, and let's put a draconic staff of power in there. Just came off the top of my head. Draconic Staff and Power. Also because it's in there, so. Oh yeah, I forgot the item rendering for the Staff of, uh, staff of Power is huge. Well, it's something simple like stone. Uh, I think it would help if I actually had it. There we go. See? Now the stone and the test pop up over the Ender I.O. I can continue to interface with these things uh, at will. Can I interact with the... I don't think I can interact with the command block. Oh, well. Anyway, so, if you want to craft the Ender I.O., you're going to need an Eye of Ender, four Fuse Quartz, and four Electrical Steel. Fuse Quartz is made in an alloy smelter with four quartz. You can make three at a time. The Electrical Steel is made either by induction smelting steel and silicon, steel dust and silicon, or by alloy smelting iron ingots, uh, coal powder of any kind and silicon. Or you can find it in Dungeon Jess. Alrighty, so uh, the Ender IO also, uh, so little disclaimer, the Ender IO will not work if the if the chunk the Ender IO is in is not loaded. So if the, if this, so say for example, this chunk that I'm in, if it's, if, if this chunk here is not loaded, then this Ender IO will not work. So, Basically, basically, you need you need to have like a chunk loader or something here in order for the Ender IO to work if you want to interface from a long distance. Also, like you saw, uh, like you saw, um, I mean this uh, this can this can like inter. Uh, whoops, uh, I'll do inter I'll do tutorial on staff of traveling a different time. But um, as you can see, you could open uh, you could open machine inventories. You can uh, 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 you can interact you can interact with you can interact with levers and buttons. You can also, uh, you can also like change. Uh, so, for example, I can uh, I can change the uh, I can change the pressure that the that the aerial interface has. And this can take up to twenty bars. So, hmm. yeah, I'll just do nineteen point eight. That's that's plenty. Alrighty, guys, I think that'll do it for this modern Minecraft tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed the Ender IO. If you did, if you did, please consider uh, leaving a like or subscribing to my channel, as it helps me out so very much. Also, if you want to see your block featured in a modern Minecraft tutorial, let me know what it is. Post it in the comments, tweet it at me, or message it, uh, message me it on Google+. No, message me, uh, mess, mention me in the post, or I might not see it, unless it's in the comments, in which case I always see it. Unless there's a link. Anyway, that'll do it for this modern Minecraft tutorial. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. Later!